NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has shared his thoughts on China's groundbreaking lunar far side samples, a first-of-its-kind achievement by the Chang'e 6 mission. China's willingness to share this valuable material with international researchers marks a new era of potential collaboration in space exploration. However, U.S. scientists face legal hurdles due to the Wolf Amendment, which restricts NASA's direct cooperation with China. As the space race intensifies, this development could reshape our understanding of the Moon and global space policies. Stay tuned to learn more about this event and its implications for the future of lunar exploration. On June 25th, China's Chang'e 6 mission successfully returned with samples from the Moon's far side, marking a historic milestone in space exploration. This achievement strengthens China's position as a leading space power and opens new avenues for scientific research. The lunar samples, weighing up to 4.4 pounds 2 kilograms, were collected from an ancient crater using advanced drilling techniques. This region of the Moon, never before sampled, offers unique insights into the Moon's history and composition, potentially revealing information about its geological processes, volcanic activity, and impact history. China's decision to share these samples with international scientists is a significant move, reminiscent of NASA's practice after the Apollo missions. By inviting researchers from around the world to apply for access, China is fostering global collaboration. Liu Yu Yunfeng, director of the International Cooperation Office of the China National Space Administration CNSA, emphasized that China welcomes scientists from all countries to study these samples and share in the benefits. This openness is a substantial gesture in an era where space exploration is often competitive. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson expressed his pleasure at this development, highlighting the importance of making such valuable materials available to the global scientific community. He noted that sharing these samples could lead to groundbreaking discoveries and enhance our understanding of the Moon's far side. However, U.S. access to these samples is complicated by the Wolf Amendment, a 2011 law that restricts NASA's direct cooperation with China without specific authorization from Congress or the FBI. This law effectively bans routine collaboration between NASA and its Chinese counterpart, posing a significant legal hurdle. Despite this, NASA is actively evaluating how its scientists can participate in the study of these samples without violating the law. Nelson mentioned that NASA is working with its lawyers and scientists to ensure compliance with the Wolf Amendment while exploring ways to engage in this valuable research. This potential cooperation, if navigated successfully, could pave the way for significant scientific breakthroughs and enhance our understanding of the Moon's far side, marking a new chapter in international space collaboration. The Chang'e 6 mission represents a significant technological and scientific leap for lunar exploration. The mission's success showcases China's advanced capabilities in space technology, particularly in achieving a soft landing on the Moon's far side, a feat first accomplished by China with the Chang'e 4 mission in 2019. The collection of up to 4.4 pounds 2 kilograms of lunar soil and rocks from an ancient crater required precise engineering and innovation, including advanced drilling techniques and robotic technology. The scientific instruments aboard the Chang'e 6 spacecraft were designed to maximize the value of the collected samples. These tools include spectrometers, cameras, and ground-penetrating radar, all aimed at providing comprehensive data about the lunar surface. By analyzing the chemical and mineralogical composition of the samples, scientists can gain insights into the Moon's geological history, including its volcanic activity, impact history, and the presence of water and other volatile compounds. One of the most intriguing aspects of these samples is their potential to shed light on the differences between the near and far sides of the Moon. The far side has fewer maria, or large basaltic plains, compared to the near side. Studying the samples could help scientists understand why these geological differences exist and what they reveal about the Moon's formation and evolution. Additionally, the samples might contain clues about the early solar system, as the Moon's surface preserves records of ancient events that have been erased from Earth's more dynamic surface. The successful return of Chang'e 6 also demonstrates the potential for future missions to bring back even more valuable data. China's upcoming missions, such as Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, aim to further explore the Moon's South Pole and test technologies for in-situ resource utilization. 
These missions will focus on identifying and using local resources, such as water ice, which is crucial for sustaining long-term human presence on the moon. This progression from robotic sample collection to potential human settlement highlights the rapid advancements in lunar science and technology. The Chang'e 6 mission underscores the broader geopolitical dynamics at play in space exploration. The US and China are currently engaged in a renewed space race, each aiming to establish a permanent human presence on the moon. China plans to land astronauts on the moon by 2030 and build a research base at the lunar south pole, a region believed to harbor significant water ice. The U.S., through NASA's Artemis program, aims to achieve a crewed lunar landing by the latter part of 2026, with plans to establish its own lunar base. China's lunar exploration program continues to progress rapidly, with future missions planned to further explore and utilize lunar resources. The Chang'e 7 mission, scheduled for 2026, aims to assess the resource potential of the moon's south polar region. This will be followed by the Chang'e 8 mission in 2028, which will test technologies for in-situ resource utilization, such as building structures from lunar materials. These missions are precursors to the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS, a collaborative effort with countries like Russia, Belarus, and Pakistan, aimed at establishing a long-term human presence on the moon. The geopolitical implications of these developments are profound. As China and the U.S. V for leadership in space, their respective lunar programs are not just about scientific exploration, but also about demonstrating technological prowess and strategic capabilities. The moon, with its potential resources and strategic location, is becoming a focal point of international competition. Both nations recognize that leadership in space can translate into significant geopolitical and economic advantages on Earth. By overcoming legal and political hurdles, both nations have the potential to contribute significantly to our understanding of the moon and to the broader goals of human space exploration. The Chang'e 6 mission stands as a testament to the possibilities that arise when science and international collaboration take precedence over rivalry. In this video, we have learned about NASA Administrator Bill Nelson's perspective on China's historic Chang'e 6 lunar samples and the significance of this achievement in the context of international collaboration and geopolitical dynamics, as the lunar samples from the far side of the moon represent a monumental leap in our understanding of the cosmos. However, political and legal challenges, like the Wolf Amendment, pose significant obstacles to international collaboration. As we stand on the brink of new discoveries, it's crucial to navigate these hurdles wisely to ensure that science, not politics, drives our exploration efforts. The moon's far side has given us a precious gift. Now it's up to us to harness its full potential for the benefit of all humanity. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.